Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to create this rolling text animation inside DaVinci Resolve so once you open up Resolve click on the settings icon and here you can change the timeline frame rate I'm going to set this to 30 and click on save then drag in the future composition onto your timeline now let's head over to the fusion page and create our animation right click on the flow and set the arrange tools to grid I'm going to move the media out to the right and we're going to start by creating our text. So I'm going to drag in the text plus node. And to view this, you can just drag this onto the left side of your viewer. And you can just start typing your text. So I'll just type in text. And then I'm going to change the font as well. I'm going to use a font called Montserrat. It's a free font provided by Google. So you can just use this. I'm going to use the black font weight. Um, obviously you can use any font that you want. I'm going to increase the size a bit and I'm also going to go to the layout and I'm going to change the rotation. So I'm going to set the Z rotation to 90. So as you can see it's too big so I'm going to go back to the text and I'm going to reduce the size. So now what I want to do is I want to fill this entire comp, comp or the entire screen with this text. So I'm going to repeat this and to do that we will add the duplicate node. So search for duplicate and add it and you can view this node by just dragging it onto the second viewer. And if you move it, you can just see that it just creates a copies. So I'm going to increase the number of copies. So maybe around I think four looks fine. I'm going to set that to four. And I want to create the copies on the right side as well. So I will need another duplicate node. So hit shift spacebar and add the same duplicate node. To view this, just drag this onto the right side and just shift it to the right. Right, so um, this right over here, I don't want this text to be visible. So in order to get rid of it, well, what we can do is we can overlap some of the text. So I can just move this on top of this text so we can just zoom in right so now we need to do two things we need to first turn this into 3d and turn it into a shape as well so we will use shape 3d for that so you can click on this node and then shift spacebar and you can search for shape 3d and click on add and also we will add a spotlight so shift spacebar again and add a spotlight as well all right so if you view this shape 3 on the left, this is how it is going to look. And on this merge node, click on that, hit shift spacebar and add a renderer 3D. Click on add and view this renderer 3D on the right side. All right, make sure you click on the shape 3D and as you can see, our shape is set to plane. But since we want it to uh, look like a cylindrical shape, so we can just select cylindrical and uh, you can change uh, to it to any shape that you want and let's go to the uh, transform section and here we have the z value which we can decrease so that we can just push it back a little just like that and also in the controls we will expand the lightning and make sure these three are selected and then we have the base subdivisions we will just crank that up to 100 Otherwise, it's just going to look jagged, which we don't want. So just crank that up to 100 and that should be good. And what else? So we have uh, the transmitters. Under transmitter, we have receives lighting. Make sure it's checked. Shadows, we can, um, you know, uncheck it. We don't want that. And make sure that it is set to two-sided. So it receives lightning from the behind as well. So um, what else? Uh, make sure the order in the under rotation is set to y x and z otherwise if it's set to x y and z then it will when we add start animating it will just you know mess up our animation so uh, now make sure you set that to y x z let me just show you what happens when we you know set the order to x y z and rotate or animate this so let's just uh, rotate this so that we can just see it properly so i'm going to set the z to negative 90 and change the x so make it something like that and now if you change the y 
we'll see that it just uh, animates everything even the x and the z which we don't want we also we only want to animate the y-axis and to do that we have to change the order so make sure you set it to y x and z and now you can set the z to negative 90 and change the x value get a nice angle and then you can just animate the y and will just animate perfectly all right so we can create an animation so make sure your playhead is at the very first frame create a keyframe there and move to the last frame and you can just start animating it all right so i'm going to set it to around negative i'm going to set this to 190 so here is our animation now it looks kind of flat and uh, we also want to change some settings so if we just change the x for a moment and you can see that we have this empty space over here and in order to fix that what we can do is uh, we can after this duplicate we can add a transform node so hit uh, it's just spacebar and type in xf to add a transform node all right so in transform you have the scale option so hold the control key and just scale this up and when you do that you'll see that it will just you know reduce the empty space in your text so let's just make it something like that so for me it's this value over here yours might be different so just play around with that and uh, we can set this to fit and in shape 3d we can switch it switch back to our or you know change the x value all right so now it's looking kind of flat we need to add some lightning to make it look uh you know 3d real 3d so for that we need to first of all let's just go to the renderer 3d and you can see the lightning and lightning we have to enable it first so make sure you click on lightning and enable it and then in the spotlight go to the transform and in the transform you have the translation z so we just increase that value till you get a nice lightning in your scene so i'm going to set this to around 12 and you can play with the x and the y values as well let's just leave it as it for now let's go back to shape 3d here we have the let's go to the material and uh, we can play with specular so in the specular we will um, reduce the exponent value so when you reduce that you will see that you'll get more of that white uh, text color in your scene which is what we want and you can reduce the intensity as well if you want if you think that's too bright for you so you can play with these two values and they should be good to go right so if we take a look at our animation you can see that it's looking pretty okay and uh, let's add a background to this so after render 3d you can hit your spacebar and type in bg for background edit and uh, you can connect your merge node with the media out and you can see the media out over here so right now our background is sitting on top of our animation so you can select your merge node and hit ctrl t on the keyboard now it will switch your foreground with the background right so then in the background you can pick any color that you want to use as a background and if you want to change the color of the text you can either go into the text tab and change the color here or you can go to spotlight and in the controls you can change the color here as well and if you want to change the text you can go to the text tab and you can change it to anything that you want however if you change it to let's say if you enter a long text so let's say tutorial then you can see that your text will get cropped up and if you view your duplicate node you can see that it's just the text is too big so in order to fix that what you can do is go to the text tab and you can decrease the size and just fit it in inside the composition but you'll also notice that you have these more gaps in between you can go back to your duplicate and here you have the center x hold the control key and just you know bring the text closer to one another so i'm going to do that and you'll have the empty space over here we need to fill that in so i'm going to increase the number of copies 
so I'm gonna set this to I think um, 6 will look fine for this and maybe I'll just increase the center X a bit more right so something like that and if you view the duplicate two on the right side um, they are not properly aligned uh, so we can just move it and just make sure that it's properly aligned right so something like that okay so now you can take a look at your renderer 3d or even the media out since it's the final output you can see it's looking all okay so you can go to shape 3d and you can still you know change the camera make it look however you want so let's try to move it around and see if everything is okay so let me just zoom in and yeah here we have some problem over here so in order to fix this glitch which we can do is go to transform and first let's just play with the size and if you reset this and you can go back to shape 3d and just rotate this again and see if everything is fine yeah, and that just fixed it for me uh, but if it's still not fixed then you can just go to the duplicate and you can change the number of copies or maybe try playing with the center x value as well so that's just about it that's how we can create this uh, rolling text animation inside davinci resolve if this video is helpful please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one